Since forever, I've been intrigued by designer toys. I just love the idea of handcrafted, perfectly finished figurines to paint and put on display. The most famous toys that you might have seen already are the Cast Companion, Dunny from Kid Robot or Janky from Super Plastic. However, there are a lot more uh, super awesome creators out there that design their own toys and I absolutely love the aesthetic of almost all of them. So for this video I'm designing my own designer toy from scratch. I'm planning to do a little robot design based on the one I got tattooed on my leg. I'm planning to make it using Gravity Sketch in VR, to 3D print it and then to send it completely smooth by hand. Here you can see me drawing the design in Procreate, my favorite app on the iPad on which I make art pretty often. My Instagram is linked in the description if you want to check that out. Now for designing this toy I really wanted it to be 3D printable, meaning there cannot be too many overhangs in the figurine. For example, you can see me smoothing out the neck part of the robot for this exact reason. The next step was to 3D model it in VR in Gravity Sketch. If you've watched my videos before, you know I love this program for product designing and anything else 3D modeling related. For this part, I cut out some highlights to not make it too boring. If you want to watch the full Gravity Sketch time lapse, I'll add a link on the screen. This video was sped up six times, so modeling this robot took me about an hour and a half. VR is an incredible medium for creatives, and for me, with my background in product development, Gravity Sketch is just a perfect addition to my toolset. This is not really because Gravity Sketch is like traditional CAD programs, but it makes 3D modeling with very organic shapes really easy. This is something that can be rather daunting in traditional CAD software, like SolidWorks or Fusion 360. Being in VR makes pulling shapes that are right in front of you really easy and intuitive. It feels more like sculpting a clay model than operating a computer-aided design tool. I'm wondering how different of a product developer I would have been if I had started out with VR modeling instead of learning SolidWorks first. Maybe it would have allowed me to think of 3D shaping more freely, since I wouldn't be stuck to the 2D tools given to me by contemporary CAD systems. This is actually one of the research questions that I'm asking during my PhD. That's right, I'm, I'm doing a PhD about immersive virtual modeling. More so in the product design context than the art context. So this might not fit this particular video that much, but if you're interested in that, I'll leave a link to my work in the description below. Here you can see me 3D printing the model on a Prusa Mini 3D printer. These 3D printers are without a doubt the best 3D printers out there. They are very affordable and Prusa is an amazing company that has innovated the 3D printing world like no other. For it to be a real designer toy I wanted to create more than one, so I printed four of these. Now I wanted them smooth, like super smooth. 
So smooth, no one could tell they were 3D printed. So I went to town spraying them with primer, sanding them, priming again, sanding with a smaller grain, priming, sanding, priming, sanding, priming and sanding. Uh, this was by far the longest part of the process. It took me about three days. Maybe I was too perfectionistic and it might not look like it on the video, but these four little guys are, in Bruno Mars' words, smoother than a fresh jar of Skippy. Next I painted them the colors I wanted with some spray paint. I hung them out to dry and voila, three beautiful canvases to get creative with. The next step was to design little faces for these boys, which I did again with Procreate on the iPad. When that was done, I drew on them with these Posca paint markers I found at my local craft store and it was very fun learning how to use these. After painting them, of course I sprayed on some clear varnish to protect them. So yeah, here they are, my very own little designer toys. I'm very happy with how they turned out and I hope you liked this video. Uh, if you did and if you want me to do more videos like these, uh, be sure to let me know, maybe drop a like on the video. And yeah, enjoy some final shots of these little puppies. Look at those palm trees! <laughs>